Sam, tell them what's up. Tell them where we're at. All right, so right now we're at Little Bits right now. Little Bits like from the show more at Rick and Morty. We got Jared over here. He got the bitch house veggie omelet. He's got a bunch of potatoes he can't eat. And he got wheat toast he can't eat because this boy's keto. These are the best biscuits and gravy I have ever had. They're also the only biscuits and gravy I've ever had. Superb home fries with onions. We got our girl Jules just hooking it up. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog here. As you saw, I just had breakfast with my brother Sam and Fred. Uh, last night it was quite interesting. Went out and uh, had a bonfire. On, went out and had a bonfire on the beach and uh, check out what I did to my hand. There was sandwiches we made that we wrapped in tin foil and I stuck my hand into the fire to grab one thinking it wouldn't be that hot. Tell you guys know what happened more. I think it was the sand when I like, scooped up like because I knew the sandwich wrapped in tin foil was gonna be super hot, I wanted to like scoop up sand and push it out, but I uh, guess I really didn't think and realize that the uh, sand would be really hot as well because the fire was in a pit, so all the heat was just contained down there. And Nick just let me use some of his coconut oil to put on my, uh, my burns, just to help with maybe the blistering and some of the pain, and I think, well I know there's some good vitamins in there, should help moisturize and heal the skin. That one right there is uh, actually a third degree burn because it bubbled up right away. Yeah, it's not too bad, it just hurts to move. In a way, I feel like, like that was my very first beach bonfire in California and it, I feel like it was a initiation to the, uh, to the state. So that was my way in, you know? So maybe it'll scar up a little bit and I could uh, be reminded how I was accepted. What do you think about that next? Some initiation to California by burning myself in the fire? We all do it. Do you guys want to see how bad these blisters are real quick? Just uh, take a take a gander at this. Oh my god. Dude, that is terrifying. Look at my finger, it just looks like it's a little bone in there. <laughs> take an x-ray. <laughs> Should I got to turn my music off before you Thanks, <laughs> Nick. That was good. That was a great beatbox. That was awesome. Alright, I'm gonna box this phone. It's gonna be a good time. If you guys didn't know, uh, Taylor Swift put her music on Spotify now. So if you're a T Swift fan, like myself, uh, you can listen to all her stuff now on Spotify. She uh, negotiated a better price with uh, you know the company and got some more money. Smart move on her, but took you long enough. It's uh, seven o'clock now. As you can see, the sun is starting to set behind me. I took a long time to set up my cell phone, but I finally have it set up. Had to uh, switch the SIM cards back and not use the new one they gave me. My brother's being nice and let me use his car right now. So I'm gonna head out, grab some food, but I wanna catch that sunset for you guys. I'm jumping in the car now. Let's, uh, let's figure out where we go. Uh, just got to uh, Cal Poly, the uh, university here, and I'm gonna walk up a uh, parking garage and try and get a nice time lapse for you guys because the sunset's pretty nice tonight. So I figured, uh, just get up there. And I've been meaning to try and uh, see this angle. So hopefully it looks good. Let's get it. It is so pretty up here. You can see almost everything. So I'm explaining a little bit to you guys how these mountains work. That one right there is Madonna. Um, I did not hike that one yet. That one right there is Bishop's Peak. That's that really big one that I hiked like the third or fourth day here. And then they pretty much go out the whole way. There's nine of them and the one you saw yesterday, that rock on Morro Bay, that was uh, the seventh sister. The other two are underwater. So it's just like Hawaii, how um, as the earth gets older and then plates move and pushes up uh, more of the islands and then they're all constantly moving. So it's really cool. I want to try and hike all of them, but I've hiked the biggest two already. So I have three out of seven that you can't hike unless I go underwater. Oh, and that one on Mora Bay, you can't hike either because you're just not allowed to unless you do it at night, which you're still not allowed to, but you never know. 
gonna head back down now, get the car, and head to get some food. Let's do it. That was cool, right? Hope you guys liked that sunset. It was a really nice view from up there. I should do that more often. I just, man, I wish I had a drone so I could fly it out there and just get those shots that I know you guys want. I'm just gonna drop Jared's keys off so he knows his car is safe. And I'm gonna walk down and grab some food. I feel like doing some walking. But uh, yeah, I'm still super hungry and I have no idea what to get. Ramen, Silicon Valley, Jared, <laughs> Sam. It's a great night. Hey guys, how's it going? Back in the room now. It is 11.20. I'm sitting down to start editing today's clips. I uh, hope you enjoyed the day. I'm going to leave you real quick with uh, a quote. My brother actually said it to me, but I don't think it's his words. If you need motivation to do something, then don't do it. And that just uh, it resonated with me for a bit and just uh, reminded me that vlogging and editing and making videos and doing this is, is what I want to do. And, what I enjoy doing. So, thank you guys for watching. This has been another episode of Madison the Guides. Wherever you are, wherever you are from, good morning, good afternoon, and good night. I'm signing off, guys. I can barely do it with my burnt fingers. Peace. Ooh. Yeah. Wait, what is that, dude? What is that? This is the cheesecloth that you so foolishly told me I would be unable to make cheese with. <laughs>